Hello, and thanks for checking out ChartGuys.com. We're proud to be one of the most successful technical analysis communities online, teaching you the skills to become a more confident, effective, and informed trader. Join our community of hundreds of analysts worldwide working together to learn the charts, generate profit, and achieve financial independence. For access to daily live chart analysis and market coverage, a thriving chat community, along with dozens of hours of exclusive educational materials. We look forward to seeing you. Let's check out some charts. Hey everyone, checking in on the market. So starting off with the financial sector, we had the initial wave of earnings for the more major names on Friday pre-market, and they were misses. So we had an initial bearish reaction with weakness in the sector, but you can see the bulls clearly bought that dip. So it's going to be interesting as the rest of the earnings come in this coming week, and we're going to be watching to see can the bulls change the trend. So the hourly time frame, we still have clear lower highs. The bulls are definitely buying the dips and defending support. But we need to see a break of resistance. I need a break of 2707, 2724, and 2730 for the bulls to really turn around momentum in their favor on these earnings. Otherwise, we're going to look to continue to slowly fade, and we'll be watching 2670 as a support level. So spy bulls held up just fine. So it's the tech sector, again, doing their thing, while the financial sector is the anchor of the S&P 500, showing some weight to the downside. But a new clear bull break on SPY, and we're just looking up at the all-time high now. So 280 psychological, and then on the weekly time frame, you can see we have no resistance nearby. Just looking up at 284.01 and 284.21. So bulls are in complete control. That's the bottom line. In order to change that, in my opinion, we have to have continued bearish reaction to the financial sector, and then a bearish reaction to the tech sector in the coming weeks as well to their earnings reports. IWM. Holding on just fine, but a little bit of weakness. And it is notable because IWM has been the clear lead market bull over the last couple of months. And we're not seeing that right now. And we're seeing a bit of a pullback. So I'm looking down at 166.64. But as far as I'm concerned, still anything above 161.67 will keep the higher low pattern intact here on IWM. So bulls still have that going for them. We're in a little bit of consolidation period. But again, we have a long way to go before it would be meaningful and looking at the weekly time frame, we can see that higher low as well. Yes, we also saw some pullback, but not really doing much to the longer term. If the S&P 500 is holding up strong and IWM starts to lose its daily uptrend, I will certainly make note of that. And that will not make the bulls entirely comfortable because of how IWM has been a leader in direction over the past few weeks. QQQ on the daily. Continuation for the bulls. So a new all-time high here following through with the cup and handle bull break. And we're now going to be looking at 179, 179.90, 180 psychological, 181, those resistance levels. And it does look like the bulls are buying into the earnings for the tech sector, which in there are in a, the next couple of weeks. Netflix is on Monday, but that's going to be the first glimpse into the major tech sector names. And we're going to start to see some positioning, anticipating what their earnings are going to be based on what Netflix does. So the weekly time frame still extremely strong. Bulls in absolute full control of QQQ. And the only thing that's going to change that is a bearish reaction to all of these earnings reports. And let's now look at VIX. Got my other tickers from my other video left up here. But VIX on the daily time frame continues to show weakness, drop down to a lower low. So support now is 1162 and 1122. And our new daily lower high is up at 1415. So the VIX is still showing weakness, still maintaining these little higher lows, just barely. If we lose these weekly higher lows, it's going to shift us right back down to the bears in absolute full control. They're certainly in full control at this point, but that would really lose any of the little hopes that the bulls have. And right now, these VIX bulls are hoping for weak earnings reactions. So that's where we stand. Overall, it's just going to be continuing to watch the reaction to earnings. We're going to be watching Netflix on Monday, see how the rest of the tech sector responds to that initial earnings report. And we will continue to check back in. Have a good Sunday, day, night, everything.